Stop right there. Are you wanting to start wearing your hair naturally but you have no idea where to begin? Sis, I've been there and I got you. Hi, it's Keisha and here are some products to start your natural hair journey. And all these products are going to be very inexpensive. You can find them at Walmart, TJ Maxx, Marshalls, Walgreens. First, get yourself a cute little hair mask. This one from Shea Moisture, great. Next, get yourself a curl cream. Which curl cream you get is gonna be entirely dependent on your curl type, but this one worked really well for me. This is the Shea Moisture Curl Enhancing Smoothie. I used this the whole time I was transitioning. Next, you're gonna wanna get yourself something to hold your curls. That would be a mousse or a gel product. Mousses can be drying, so I would suggest going with a gel if you're just starting your journey. I've talked about this many times before, but that's because it is just that good. The Dippity Do Girls with Curls gel is amazing. I highly recommend. Good luck. Don't show up. Don't come out. Don't start caring about me now. Walk away. You know how. Don't start caring about me now. Aren't you? You made this one. Yeah. You said you were alright. Okay. I can take you there. Yeah. That's all you gotta do is say that one time. Okay. She got long hair Pretty bitch got a big booty Yeah, I got a stare Mama always told me I was different I ain't got no fear Here's a curly hair routine for beginners First step, you're gonna shampoo your hair Like normal shampoo only The roots and rinse it out You're gonna condition your hair From the bottom to the top And try detangling your hair With a brush if you can Rinse that out And then we're gonna move on to styling Leave your hair soaking wet And take a curl cream And then smear that through your hands Rake the product through your hair And then scrunch that up Really make sure you squish it into your hair. You're gonna do the same thing with the gel. You're gonna smear that through your hands, rake it through the hair, and then scrunch that up. Really squish it in. With the t-shirt, you're gonna scrunch little sections of your hair to help with definition. And then you can either air dry or diffuse. I diffuse and these are my results. Hi everyone, here is my absolute favorite drugstore curly hair routine for transitioning back to your natural hair. Literally any of the Shea Moisture shampoos are so good, it doesn't even matter what one. This conditioner from Heritage, absolutely love. We always need a deep conditioner, personal favorite from Shea Moisture. This curl cream from Heritage is super affordable and has awesome ingredients. You know we gotta follow up with the gel and we're going in with the OG dippity Do. love this stuff. You can also use a mousse instead of a gel. This is my personal fave from John Frieda. I always finish with an oil or a serum, love this one from Aussie. Everything in this routine is under $13, which we love. TikTok has been convincing me that I have curly hair, but I have literally no idea what to do to make it curly. Okay, well what would make you think that you have curly hair? Well, I have curls next to my ear and next to my neck and then random curls on the top. So I just started straightening my hair because my hair was so inconsistent and now it's just dead. Okay, 
So what I tell everybody that's just starting off on their healthy hair, discovering curls journey, is to get rid of all of the products that they're currently using because they're probably not the best for your hair and start by accumulating a good shampoo, conditioner, leave-in conditioner, and gel. Mm, that sounds expensive. It could be as expensive or inexpensive as you want. Here's a few brands of beginner curl products that I recommend. Okay, and what, my hair will just magically appear to be curly? Not overnight, but it's kind of like your curly hair starter pack. Honestly, if that's the only thing you did, your hair would be pretty different within even a month. Okay, and I'll watch your videos to learn how to put the products in my hair. This was my hair in high school. I straightened it every single day. I had a freaking mullet. I bleached it. I did all of the wrong things uh, to make my curls thrive. Um, this was about 10 years ago. And this is my hair today. The first thing I did was get my hair trimmed and I stopped straightening my hair. Next, find yourself a good curly hair shampoo and conditioner and a deep conditioner or hair mask that you can apply once a week. Next, I experimented with a whole bunch of different styling techniques and landed on um, styling upside down and soaking wet. I love applying a curl cream and two gels for my hair type. I love these ones from Bounce Curl, Trelux, and the Giovanni LA Hold Styling Gel. Um, those are just some simple tips. Uh, give me a like and a follow if you want to see more. I promise I did not mean to gatekeep this, but if your hair looks like this with little curls or waves near the ears and neck, this is how you treat it to get it looking like this. This is my day three hair, so you do not want to brush when dry. First, you gotta shampoo only the scalp. Use a clarifying shampoo one to four times a month, depending on what kinds of products you use and how much buildup they cause. All other times, use a gentle shampoo. I have some options in my profile. Now it's time for me to condition. I'm using a protein conditioner. I'm using it as a protein treatment, which you can do about once a month. You should also deep condition once a week or less depending on what your hair needs. You're probably going to do more in the beginning and now you can detangle. You can use either your fingers or a detangling brush mint for wet curly hair. Now rinse it out and squish to condition. If a product isn't formulated to leave in, then it can cause damage if you leave it in, so definitely rinse it all out. And if you find your hair is dry, use a leave-in conditioner. And I realized I had way too much leave-in for just one section of my hair. Detangle again if you need, but if you do detangle, make sure you have a leave-in. Now I'm going in with a volumizing foam. Emulsify, section, distribute, brush for even distribution so your hair doesn't look wonky. And notice how I'm brushing 90 degrees away from the scalp. That's what you want if you don't want flat roots. If you want your mousse to apply right, shake it first, spray it all the way upside down, and then emulsify. I applied with praying hands method and then scrunched. Did the same to the other side, diffused. Last but not least, protect your hair at night. 